Hey everyone, it's Lara from AuntRollyHouse.com and today I'm going to show you how to make a soothing throat drop. I have a few different ingredients here in front of me and we are going to make some homemade soothing throat drops. These are going to be full of immune boosting properties. They're going to be very soothing to a sore throat and they're gonna be really good whenever you're dealing with any type of respiratory issue. To get started, we're going to bring 3 fourths cup of water to a boil. Once your water comes to a boil, we're gonna add in a tablespoon of red raspberry leaf tea. We're gonna add in one tablespoon of peppermint tea. Now this is a tea bag, obviously, and if you don't have loose leaf, you can open up a tea bag and just pour that in. And the same with the red raspberry leaf tea. It's about a tablespoon in a tea bag, so that works the same in this recipe. And then I'm gonna add in a fourth of a teaspoon of ginger and a fourth of a teaspoon of cinnamon. Then we're just going to give this a good stir. And then we're going to actually remove it from the heat and we're gonna let this steep for about 10 minutes. After it's steep for about 10 minutes, we are going to strain off the liquid and pour it into another saucepan. So this is just getting all of the loose leaf tea and ginger and all that out of, out of the liquid. And then we're just going to use the liquid for the next step. Now we're going to add in three fourths cups of honey and we are going to turn it back up to medium to high heat and bring this back to a boil. I'm gonna stir it up just a little bit here. And I have a meat thermometer here, or you can use a candy thermometer. We wanna make sure that we bring it up to 300 degrees, but you wanna watch this pretty closely because of the honey, you know, the sugar content, it can burn pretty easily. I'm gonna check it off and with my meat thermometer. And when it hits 300 degrees, we're gonna remove it from the heat. I'm stirring it often to help it not stick to the bottom of the pan and also so I don't let it go over top of the heat here. So I'm getting close, we're at 225 degrees right now. Okay, and fair warning, go ahead and do this in a larger saucepan than I did because this one is boiling up pretty high and it's making it hard to keep it not spilling over. So larger saucepan, little tip. Once it hits 300 degrees, we're going to remove this from the heat and we're gonna let it cool slightly to let it thicken and get kind of a syrupy texture and then we'll add in some essential oils. Adding in the essential oils is completely optional. There are several essential oils that you can add in that are really good for boosting the immune system. Some that'll be very soothing to the throat, even like a peppermint that'll be very cooling. And if you're going to add in essential oils, this is the time to do it whenever it's cooled just slightly. And you wanna add in about five to 10 drops of essential oil of choice. So some of the essential oils I have here, um, that would be a good combo, would be a lemon and a peppermint. Those are gonna feel very soothing. You can add in a copaiba or frankincense because those essential oils are very powerful immune boosting oils. I have a lavender because again, very soothing, calming, and also immune boosting. I'm gonna use my peppermint and lemon because I think that'll add some nice flavor. About five drops of each essential oil. Okay, I'm gonna stir that in. And this is starting to get pretty thick here. And that's just opening up the airways just by breathing it in here with those oils in there. I'm gonna roll out a piece of parchment paper and we're just gonna drop little spoonfuls of the mixture onto the parchment paper and then we're just gonna let them sit and harden. To 
to speed the process up, you can place this into the refrigerator or freezer. But basically, we're just going to let this sit and then these will be hardened and you'll be able to pop them off of the parchment paper. Then I'm gonna store them either in a mason jar or an airtight container. But before putting them in there, I'm going to sprinkle them with some vitamin C powder just to add an extra immune boosting property and to prevent them from sticking together. You can use these anytime that you're not feeling your best and you can take them as needed. These are gonna be great to have around now that we're kind of going into the months of seasonal threats and whenever there's a lot of pollen in the air, these are gonna be really good relievers of those types of symptoms. If you want more essential oil education or you're looking to get essential oils into your home, check out my free online class down in the description below. And if this is your first time by my channel, please hit that subscribe button. I get out new videos every single week on essential oil education, DIY recipes, and natural remedies for your home health and body. Thank you so much for stopping by our oily house.